Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to play your old PS2 games in a proper widescreen using Codebreaker. As you know, many PS2 games do not have a widescreen mode in the options menu, and thus you're forced to play them in the old 4x3 aspect ratio, and if you play your PS2 on a widescreen TV, you're stuck with the black bars on both sides, or worse, you play it stretched, which looks terrible. However, by using a cheat device such as Codebreaker, you can actually input codes that force PS2 games into having proper 16x9 widescreen. So let's begin. Obviously you need an actual PS2, I'll be using the original fat PS2, and Codebreaker. For this tutorial I'll be using a patched version 9.2 of Codebreaker that runs off of a USB connect to my PS2, so if you have a different version you may need to convert the actual code for it to work. So to start off, first we're going to need the actual widescreen code for the specific game and region that we want. So to do that, uh, click on the link below in the YouTube description. I already have it bookmarked, so I'm just going to go there on my own. And it will lead you to the forum site for the PS2 emulator, PCSX2. And Pretty much how it all started is uh, one user figured out a way to enable widescreen, or rather force widescreen in PS2 games using this emulator. And eventually another user figured out if there was a way to use these patches on an actual physical PS2, which is what I'm showing you here today. So anyway, in the first post, scroll down and click here on the first link, which says widescreen patch archive and helpful info. Click on it, and basically it will lead you to a sticky post, which basically archives all the widescreen patches together, and it's constantly being updated, so if you ever want the newest, you know, release of all the widescreen patches, you could just click on it again, and, you know, on the most recent date, and it'll be updated. It's, you know, constantly being uploaded by this user here, Divina40, so, you know, if you want to contribute as well, feel free. So anyway, scroll down to where it says Archive Download and click on the ps2widescreen.rar file to download it. It is a white, it is a RAR file, so you, you are going to need WinRAR to extract it. But anyways, download it, oh, extract it and open it. And when you double click on it and go within it, the folders, you will see uh, a bunch of folders with all their names and the regions. Obviously, you'll want to click on the region you want. For this tutorial, we will be using NTSCU. So I'll double click on it, and as an example, we will be using the game Kingdom Hearts. Now, when you double click on the folder, you'll see within it this uh, Panach file. It's basically a patch file that's used by the PS2 emulator PCSX2. And your computer probably won't recognize it, but don't worry, it's basically just a text file. So if you right click on it and highlight open with, you could just open it with notepad pretty easily. Anyways, when the file opens up, you will get a text file with a bunch of random stuff that at first it seems pretty difficult, but trust me, it's actually very easy to understand. Um, thankfully, one line of code here just represents one line of code in Codebreaker. For each line though, pretty much all you really need is this 8 character uh, eight character pattern followed by the second 8 character pattern. So for example, this first line would be 001103AC followed by 3C0143D6. Uh, pretty much that's all you really need for each line of code. The, all this other stuff you don't really need, although you, do, you should make take note of what's written because that's usually what the code or the person who created the patch they make notes on what the line of code actually does so, which is what you'll probably need if you actually want proper widescreen usually the first uh, uh, this first area of code in each uh, panache file is pretty much what actually does the widescreen itself uh, everything written after is usually just other stuff so for example, this first area here of code would give you the following effect. As you can see here, it goes from 4x3 to proper widescreen, which is basically just 4x3, but you know, with more uh, viewing area on the left and right. 
uh, this next area of code here you can see it says FMVs fix that basically as you can see in the original aspect ratio the FMVs are properly letterboxed but in in 16 by 9 you'd obviously want that removed so it's blown up but it still retains the same you know aspect ratio of the original this next code here you can see black border fix it does the following pretty much aside from you know uh, more viewing area on the left and right it removes these black bars uh, that which is pretty much entirely up to you whether or not you want those removed pretty much I leave them I, personally I still leave them in just because I still like that uh, cinematic effect but obviously that's totally up to you um, one other thing to make note of is you can see on some lines it has a double slash pretty much that means that anything written after it is um, uncommented and not used by the program itself so pretty much the only reason you need to know this is because some lines of codes actually have a double slash at the beginning so more than likely you're going to want to avoid using those codes because if it's uncommented in this patch file more than likely you're not going to want to use it if you scroll down to the bottom of this Kingdom Hearts patch file you could see here a you can see here it's written double slash with 60 FPS. If you're wondering, yes, it is possible to force 60 frames per second. However, as you can see here, there is a, it's uncommented both lines, and for good reason. A lot of games, if you try to force 60 frames per second, there are a lot of errors. Uh, you know, such as the video and audio not syncing up and other stuff like that, and you know, massive slowdown and stuff like that. So you know, pretty much. In this entire uh, panache file, we're going to use all the codes that do not have a double slash at the beginning. And basically, any code that's not um, uncommented. Um, one other thing to note is that most PS2 games' widescreen patches are not this complicated. Kingdom Hearts in general was one of those uh, games that was really hard for users to find widescreen for initially which is why I'm using it here as an example, just because it's one of the more complicated ones with lots of code. If we go to other games, for example, let me go to one quickly. <clears throat> go here to Dual Hearts, and I'll click here on the Panache file. Right away you can see, very simple, just three lines of code per proper widescreen. Pretty much this first batch here, fixes for widescreen, wireless. <clears throat> Whereas this second section fixes the HUD, pretty much just three lines of code compared to Kingdom Hearts, you know, um, massive complicated lines of code. So basically, in essence, we're going to use all the lines that are not uncommon, that do not have the double slash at the beginning. So pretty much have this um, pan uh, panache file open, you know, uh, as a second screen while we go to the PS2 now to implement these codes in Codebreaker. Alrighty, as you can see here, this is my PS2, the original fat PS2. I have two memory cards, the second one I use for loading up free McBoot, while the second one I use for, first one, or rather I use for all my save files. The USB I'm using to load up Codebreaker is the one that came with the Action Replay Evo version. As I said before, for this tutorial we'll be using Kingdom Hearts. I have an actual physical copy of Re Kingdom Hearts, but if you're loading it off of King of uh, HD Loader, that works just fine too. Now just hold tight here as I get the camera set up on the TV. Okay then. As I said before, I have Free McBoot version 1.8. I already have Codebreaker set up as a menu item, so I'm just going to scroll down quickly to it. You probably want to do the same just because it makes it much easier to load up Codebreaker every time you load up your PS2 because you are you do have to load it up every time if you want proper widescreen for your uh, you know desired game. Uh, just hold tight here as it takes a little bit of time for Codebreaker to load up.
and it's loaded up. I don't know if you can see that text scrolling down uh, there at the bottom. That's his, how you know it is a patch version. You see there it says Codebreaker version 9.2, no anti mon mod chip version, cracked by PS2TG loaner, and so on and so forth. So anyways, go to select cheats, press X. Now we're going to need to scroll down to Kingdom Hearts. So there it is. Click right, and now you're going to need, you see, press circle to add a new code, so press circle. Obviously you're going to want to call it widescreen, but just quickly for this tutorial, I'm going to use WS. You can see here you won't have this code, I've already set it up just for this tutorial to make it much quicker. You'll have this, the WS, when you have it, press right. And obviously no code is there, so press circle to add a new code. And here comes the tedious task of typing in each code. If you uh, refer back to the Panache file, the first code will be 001103AC. One other thing to note is if uh, the code starts with a zero, it will always start with a two. Even if it starts with a two, it will always be two anyways. This is only for use for uh, PS2, it will always start with, it, with uh, the two of the code. So, if we refer back to the Panache file, the first code will be 201103AC, followed by 3C0143 D6. Press start, and then the next code will be 2011. If, this, if the code now is the same as the one before, just press R1 to quickly scroll through it. So 2011098898, followed by 3C013F19. Press start. And you're going to do that with every code. Remember, every code that is not uncommented is what we're using for this tutorial. I've already set it up here, so I'll just quickly show you what it looks like when it is done. Looks like so. Remember, we're, for this tutorial, we're using all the codes that are not uncommented in the Panache file. And it was, when you press start, it's going to ask you if you want to save. Obviously, press X for yes. So there, it saved it. Obviously, you're going to want, we're going to want to use the cheat start right away. So go to select cheats. It's already on Kingdom Hearts. So press right. Scroll down to the code you just made. And there it says widescreen is the one where which I made with all the codes. Press X to use it. Press start. And then go to press X on start game. At this point, your PS2 should eject this. This is where I'm going to put in the actual copy of Kingdom Hearts, roll type. When you're done that, press X. Your PS2 will put the disk slot back inside.